Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a keyboard in a any Acer Aspire laptop or netbook. Um, this will usually go with the newer versions, well anything from the last, made in the last seven years. So pretty much if yours has a webcam it will usually work. Um, this method will work. Um, fortunately for Acer, the keyboards that are very easy to, uh, to take out, most laptops will have screws on the bottom and sometimes you actually have to open up little compartment memory compartments to get to the screws that fasten the keyboard fortunately with this model you, you don't have to do that so first thing you want to do is you want to take the battery out and you're doing this just for uh, you know so you don't damage the computer alright so we took the took the battery out now you're going to notice there's going to be little tabs uh, on the upper right part, upper part of your keyboard, your Acer keyboards, and this one's got like six in particular. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, show you real quick how to do that. Okay. So as you can see here. these little tabs there. And what you gotta do is you wanna get a little flathead screwdriver. You can pick this up at Ace Hardware or Lowe's or whatever. Um, and you have to push them in. And you wanna do every one of these little tabs the same way. Oops. And you can see how that keyboard is starting to pop up. And then from there, what you want to do is you want to try to pry the keyboard up gently. As you can see there, it's coming off very easily once you've got those tabs off. And you might have to go back to the each individual tab to hit it one more time. That's the easiest laptop I've ever come across. Uh, to get the keyboard off. Let me go ahead and stand her up here. My camera up. Okay. And so there's the last one there. Now, as you can see here, the reason I'm changing this one is because one of the keys is missing. So as you can see there, that popped right off. This one actually had a little bit of, someone dropped a little bit of liquid residue on it. So it made it a little bit sticky to pop off. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is this little ribbon here. What you want to do is get your little flathead and you want to pop this thing up. And that ribbon will just slide right out. Now a couple of notes to take here. Um, the um, if you want to find a replacement keyboard, the best place to look on is eBay. You know, I'd recommend a new one, but you're going to use one. But if it's an Acer brand, I'd recommend going ahead and getting new because the parts are so poorly made. Um, and that's another thing we can get into. Acer 
is probably Acer and Gateway is probably the cheapest laptops that they make. Um, but if you already have one in your possession, of course you want to get it fixed. Uh, what you can do is you can go on um, eBay, and what you want to do is you want to go to buy it now, lowest first to pick the cheapest one. Just make sure you're going to the newest one. And what a lot of people will do, like this particular uh, laptop model is uh, Acer Aspire 5349, and then of course there's Dash 2804. But I wouldn't recommend putting that into eBay in the search. What you want to going to do is take your take your your actual keyboard and look at the model number on that. So as you can see there, it says model Z3 Z R7, um, and that you know, well of course each laptop will have a keyboard with a different model and go ahead and plug that into eBay um, if that is if it shows up too many uh, results you can just type in Acer and then ZR7 and when you look at a picture on eBay just make sure it matches up now this is missing the uh, uh, one of the keys and a lot of times you can actually just purchase the key on um, you can actually go on like laptopkeys.com there's a couple of places and they'll actually give you the hardware which is below it the little rubber button and the key itself and you can get it for like five bucks but as you can see here I purchased a, a brand new keyboard for ten and I did that for two reasons because there was liquid spillage on that this one but also too um, you know this keyboard was only ten bucks you know free shipping on eBay and you know Sometimes it's hard to get these keys matched up because there'll be like two or three different versions and you have to make sure you got the right one and then you have to when you get it in then you have to delicately try to try to put it in there. It's just not worth it. In my opinion, it's definitely worth buying a new keyboard, especially for Acer, considering the parts are so darn uh, cheaply made. Um, so let's go ahead and install our new keyboard. So pretty much the only thing we have to do is put the ribbon in here. Make sure it's flushed flushed up against there, and then you're going to push that tab down. And give a little bit of resistance just to make sure it's in there good. And then you want to put Put it in from the very bottom and make sure those tabs line up and push it in there. And of course there's no screws on the bottom that you have to screw into the keyboard. And you're all set. Alright, thanks for watching.